Hi, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. In this video, we're going to look at the Text on Shape tool. Donna asked me on Facebook if there was a way to make three names into a heart shape. I knew there was a heart shape that came with Elements 10, new Text on Shape tool, but I hadn't played with it yet. Let's take a look at what I found. The Text on Shape tool is one of the three new text tools that were added to Photoshop Elements 10. If you go to the toolbox and click and hold on the text tool, you'll see the three new text tools down at the bottom. The text on shape tool is the one with the star on it. So I'm going to click on that to select it. Now let's look up in the options bar and you'll see there's a drop down menu of different shapes you can choose. So I'm going to select the heart shape. Now I need to create a document to put my new text in. So I'll go up to the file menu and choose New, Blank File, and I'm going to say OK to that size. Now I can click and drag to get my heart shape. I'm just going to click and drag, and if I hold the Shift key while I do that, it will keep the proportions of the original heart intact. So if I didn't hold the Shift key, I can just click and drag, and if I drag sideways, I can make it wider, and if I click um, up or down, I can make it tall or short but I'm going to undo that and hold down the shift key and keep the proportions to what elements had in mind for the heart. So now I have the outline of the heart. If I place my cursor anywhere along the line, it changes into an eye beam with a curved line over it, indicating that I can click there and start typing. So I'm going to click here and start typing. and right away I can see that my type is too small. So let's go up to the options bar and make a few changes. Here we have the font size drop down menu. If you click on that little white arrow you'll see some different choices. So I'm going to start out with 60 point. Actually I need to select my type first. So I did that by double clicking on it and now I'll choose 60. Now we can see what's going on a little better. And because this is a heart, I'm going to click on the little arrow next to this black square. Yours might be white. And this color swatch appears, and there's a red color right here that I'm going to click on to choose. And then you can click anywhere on your options bar to make those swatches go away. And now I'm going to click once on the end of my type to get my cursor back and I'm going to add a space and type Pete because I noticed that that was Donna's husband's name on Facebook. And then I'm going to add another space and just type a random name. Um, let's choose David. Now just so you know that black line that forms the shape of the heart is a non-printing line. So if I were to print that out you would just see the red type and we would count on the type to form the shape of the heart. Now obviously this type is still too small, so I'm going to click and drag on it to select it and go back up to my font sizes and you can see 72 is the biggest um, choice we have there and that still isn't big enough so if you place your cursor on 72 and double click then you can use your arrow keys to increase your font size. And if you hold down the shift key, it increases it by 10 points at a time instead of one point at a time. So if I make my type so it's big enough to go all the way around the heart shape, let me click off it to see what we have. You can see some of the problems that I started to have. First of all, the text is all jumbled together and with it that big, and it is pretty much following the shape of the heart it's still kind of hard to tell that that's even a heart shape. So at this point I tried lots of different things. I tried making the type smaller and I tried act, adding more spaces in between the names and I think because of the there's so many curves in the heart and because we have two points we have the one at the top here and the one at the bottom down here it just is not conducive to adding type to but I'm not sure why Elements decided to 
put a heart shape in there. Now, some of them work really good, like an ellipse works pretty well, and a rectangle works pretty well, but the heart and the thought bubble and the butterfly that they put in there, I don't think those are very good choices for flowing text around. I will be showing you a couple solutions that I came up with that kind of work. I'm not sure if it's what Donna had in mind, but uh, I think it does a little better job anyway. I'm going to stop this video now, and in the next video, I'll show you the solutions I came up with. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. If you would like more free video tips, I have 20 Essential Photoshop Elements tips you can get started with right now by going to EssentialPhotoshopElements.com slash tips.